bats we have. Uh, we have a new system here where if I loosen these four drum key bolts, you can actually adjust the layout of the quads. So I can have a really tight layout here, more wider, or maybe a larger player, longer arm, something like that. Uh, when I'm ready, all I need to do is tighten these back up with a key. Just four simple adjustments here. It really doesn't take too long. And once I have that on, then they're solid. I have a little tight stabilizer here on my uh, quad stand, so that way if there's no bouncing going on when I play on the front. Lifting up here, looking at the other side, I have an integrated tripod that is fully removable. It weighs next to nothing, and it comes right back in. It doesn't cause a problem with any kind of marching or anything like that. It doesn't get in the way of your legs or anything, so you can go ahead and leave them in or take them out, whatever you prefer. If you see the color of the shells here, this dark brown is really beautiful. It's a unique shell construction in Tatama called Birch and Bubinga. The outer four plies are birch and the inner three are Bubinga, an African hardwood. Really great sound, a lot of warmth and attack to these drums. Over this set, I do have a maple construction as well, too. That's available on all the tenors, snares, and bass drums. We can do even shell construction, whichever you prefer. Maple is going to be the more characteristic of uh, something that's been around for a while. Birch and Babinga is kind of a new sound. The, the stand itself is designed in such a way to put the drum right over the center of the gravity. So instead of uh, traditional stands, normally the, the, the back bar is in the middle and then the drums are out here, causing it to be unstable. With the Tama, it's very stable. It's, it's quite difficult, in fact, to knock it over. You have to try to knock it over. So it's really want to fall over in any way. Uh, the harness here, this is the Silver Armor Carrier. This would be the tenor model right now. Adjusting these four bolts, I can slide it longer or shorter. So right here, I've got a, if I loosen these two, I can rotate this side to side. On this edge here, loosening this drum key bolt and this one here. Now I can adjust it for someone with more broad shoulders or maybe someone who's maybe a little bit smaller. Another great thing is the padding is completely removable and washable. So you don't have to worry about it uh, you know, getting kind of uh, gross, for lack of a better word. You can actually throw it in the washing machine and clean it on up. We don't have to drill any holes through it because we can take it right off and get to our adjustments right here if we wanted to set the J-bars lower or higher. Again, this is the channel right here for height adjustment. Loosing these four bolts. Now I can make it longer or much, much shorter there for the little person. Let's move over to the snare, shall we? And moving to the snare drum here, we have the beautiful finish. All lacquer. This isn't a plastic wrap. This is a lacquered finish like you expect on a high-end drum as well as all chrome finish. It is not an option, it is standard chrome finish, so you don't pay extra for that. Same kind of deal with the stand. The, uh, the drum is right over the center of the stand, so again, tough to knock it over. Doesn't want to really fall over. I've got a nice system here where I can actually flip it up, put it upside down on the snare. Makes tuning much faster and easier. Where's the drum key? Here it is. So I can see quite easy right there. This is a very striking look here with the, the snare stand, the snare strainer that is. I flip that up, pull here, pull here. I can actually take it off entirely. You see, when I turn this knob here, it's going to tension the, the, the snares like you would expect. But what is great about this setup is that all the tension is supported between these two bars right here. It doesn't transfer to the side of the drum and cause any bending or stress on the butt plates. Or rather, it's all right here. Another great advantage is the fact that if I spent time fine-tuning the guts and making everything just perfect, and then I happen to break the bottom head, uh, that wouldn't be all lost. Normal, a traditional drum, I would have to unscrew and, and slide the snares out, and then they would be flopping around and you would lose your, all your tuning. In this manner here, everything stays intact. Very, very solid piece. And again, it just could not be faster as far as putting it back on the drum. It's literally one, two, about three seconds or so to take it on and off. So smooth and easy, very quick. Flipping 
it back over. I can lock it into position, and now when I pick up the drum, it actually will lock in. The same thing on the harnesses, that it has the same locking setup on the snares, the quads, the bass drums, it's all the same system. Looking at the side here, the, the throw off is up at the top of the drum, so it's much easier to reach. Uh, if you happen to have, be wearing the drum on a harness, I'm not having to reach down there. For the smaller player with maybe shorter arms, that's actually quite difficult for them to do while they're wearing the drum. Much easier here, and yet it is recessed just enough so it doesn't hit your hand or anything like that. Let's move over to the bass drums. Here we have the Tama Marching Bass Drum. Again, all lacquer, beautiful finish, chrome hardware on everything. We have a high tension claw system here. And the drum has actually been designed so that the uh, tension rod here is parallel to the drum. As opposed to coming in at an angle, causing some flaring of the hoop or some uh, uh, long-term breakage of the tension rod. Designing it in a way that makes it parallel maximizes the longevity of the drum and the tuning uh, consistency. So, great adjustment there. Looking at the back, I actually have two sets of clips. So the drum will secure to the stand by dropping these in here and then locking them down like so. Now the drum is actually attached to the stand. Quite a simple, just a snap, snap, and it comes right off. The stand, of course, is designed so that the center of the drum is over the center of the stand, so again, you get a very solid ability keep the drum from falling over. All the stands, snares, tenors, and bass drums are configurable for a stadium uh, setup, and I'll show that to you now. And this right here is a snare drum on our stadium configuration. Uh, looking at the legs here, we do have the ability to put the two up front higher, the one at the bottom lower, so that way if you're doing a football game type of situation, you can actually hold it in that position just brilliantly. In addition that the Tama stand has is this little clamp right here. If I secure that up here, tighten it in, now the stand is actually mounted to the stand. So it doesn't come over, come off. If I knock it, it doesn't fall forward. It really is a safety feature. It keeps everything safe. And that way if someone is down there on the lower stand, they're not going to get a drum fall. So all in all, it's a brilliantly designed drum. We're very proud of it. And, uh, Check it out at tomamarching.com.